Hey guys, what's going on? It's G69 back with another review. Um, now it kind of acts like it wants to record slow again. I'm doing it my old-fashioned way, not really the old-fashioned way. From I'm doing it from my laptop with my Logitech 720 uh, webcam. I used to record off of the camera that was built into this. Um, anyway, I just uploaded one from my phone. And uh, I had an even better review on this. Because um, my phone does a little bit better, you know, footage of this. Well, it let me upload the one from last night that I tried to upload that it wouldn't let me upload. So, you'll see, you know, I have different clothes on than what I have on right now. Um, either way, it went through, hopefully. I haven't looked on YouTube, but it said it did. i got to figure out how to erase them off of my new, uh, this is my new iPhone, I, the iPhone, iPhone 5C iPhone 5 color, and I've got to figure out how to erase them. Well, let's do another little review real quick on this, and then I've got a surprise for you guys. We're going to do a $300 unboxing. So, I'm going to see if this video uploads, if this format still works, and if it does. Oh, also guys, I recommend everybody gets this shirt right here. This is such a cool ass shirt. You can read right there. It says, get some. I mean, it almost looks like you can take this off. <laughs> Point it at somebody. I love it. All right. Well, we'll do it just like this right here. All right. There's uh, been quite a few reviews on this gun. I thought I was going to be like one of the first ones to do a review. Little did I know I was wrong. All right. First thing is, um, you know, the other review you're going to see that I, there's a few points I missed. Um, basically, you know, this is a novelty type gun, guys. You, you know, the reason it's $160 is because who wants to bring this out on the field with them? I mean, literally. Who, who, and see, the trigger gets stuck every now and then. That's because I need to oil it. But who wants to bring this out on the field with them? And, um, not me. This is going to be hung on my wall or... You know, I may have a cus you know, them custom holders made for it, and at the last moment draw it out and pop six off. If you're in close quarter, you know, or something like that. If you're playing CQB, it's fine for that. I would not carry this gun around a bunch and definitely don't take the orange tip off, guys, because that looks like a real three fifty seven or a thirty eight. You know, I mean it it does. It just does. Right here you stick your finger now, as you can see. And it comes right off. It's got all that beautiful silver. Okay? I like to keep it polished. Something that's pretty cool is you can use the trigger and it does the half turn. Sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, the gun, the reason people are like, oh my god, I don't know why it's $160. Well, the reason it's $160 is because it's such a big chunk of steel. That was weird. I just heard something in my room. It's because it's such a big chunk of steel. Um, everybody knows how to load a CO2 in there. You just put a CO2 in there, and then you twist it till it's tight. Now, when you hear it hiss, don't let it sit there and go... And then screw it in. I watched another video, no disrespect. But when you put it in there, go ahead and get it to where you start feeling it tight, and then rock it. You'll, you'll hear it just go... And it'll seal quick as it can. And it will shoot 400 FPS. It's not very, it's not the most accurate thing in the world. It's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be a point, it's a pistol. It's a revolver. These things ain't made to shoot like an M4 rifle. Kind of cheaply made right here. Um, uh, somebody was reviewing it and saying they did not like the G&G &G trademark right there. I think that makes the gun look cute, pretty damn beautiful to me. If it wasn't on there, it looked kind of blank and you know, regular. I like that. Plus, 420, sorry, I missed you. Plus, that gives it, you know, that may, and it says G&G &G right here, and on the other side, on the other grip, so that lets you know. Alright, well, your safety, you pull back, and that locks it just like a real revolver. Push it regular, it's ready to fire. Push it forward, and that pops it open. Okay, as you can see, the little black riser rises up. 
Here's the speed loader with your shells. You stick them in there just like this, and you, and you don't twist nothing. You just tap this. Boom. And they're in. All right? Just like that. Now you can see the bullets in there. See them spin? we got to slow it down because it was kind of too fast for the camera to pick up. Anyway, we're going to make this quick. That's about. We're going to stop this at around six and a half minutes. Um, I got the black one also, guys, and I will review that for you. I just wanted y'all to know that this is basically a novelty item. It's not that it won't hurt you. This gun will freak you up. I'm telling you, this gun is very powerful. It's very powerful. And it's. Not, I'm just saying... If you want a gun that's going to be for out there playing, you, yeah, you might want to get a Wii Tech or something like that. You might want to get a little something cheaper. Uh, I don't recommend going and spending $160 on this gun if you're going to be out dogging the shit out of it. So don't do that. Anyway, with that, guys, let's see if this uploads. And um, I had a lot of, little bit better review of it, but, you know, we'll get to more reviews. But this is what we got coming up for you here in just a few minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to do a $200 or $300 airbox unrattle. So with that, guys, peace out. Stay safe. Shoot safe. And I love you guys.